Hello again everyone, welcome back to Bloodborne. It occurs to me that I haven't ever really done much with the wheel, so I don't that. And you got the transformed. But I've never really sort of understood much about it, so I looked up the wiki, apparently it's got a buff as well, a self buff that you can you can use, so I'll have a little of a play with this. That's doing 372. And transformed but with no buff. He's doing more. But obviously I don't get to parry with it. And apparently you can buff it but it also takes your own health. When you, when you do it. I'll do that a couple of times. Yeah, my health's going down. Oops. And I'm not sure if the... Whoa, shit. I'm not sure if that buff wore off or not. He's a asshole. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. Run away, run away. Run away. know about that. Um, it does seem to do more damage when it's transformed. I think that's I think it's doing arcane damage, not 100 percent sure. Gosh, I am really die. Wow, I've killed like three enemies and used four blood vials already. <laughs> this is not going well. Bullets, yeah. I think I got bullets. Twin shards. Uh, now. Just, uh, See the yeah, there it is. That, uh, spiky log up there. But, uh, you, yeah, you can sort of see the trap. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, there it is. There's the plate under it. Um, yeah, I won't trigger it because uh, I'm knowing my luck. I'll cop it right in the face. I'm just checking to see if it was noticeable or if you just had a sort of guess. That is a lot of damage on a visceral attack. <laughs> um, anyway. Uh, where are all you? There's a, one of these guys here, but there's a bunch of crows as well. But I'll try not to aggro. Three twin shards. I'm not actually sure how many of them I've got at the moment. It's funny that when those guys they just stand there until you get too close and then their AI sort of triggers even though they don't aggro on you. So, yeah, funny. Anyway, we go up here. There should be another one of them. Get me every time. Well, at least I'm getting my blood vials back. Buckets. Yeah. Okay. These blood pellets, which I really don't use. I've got the beast claws if I want to go on that. Uh, that sort of uh, attack mode, I guess you'd call it. Now, um, I'm getting lost. Uh, do I need to go up? There are some blue elixirs up here, and some stuff that I may or may not ever bother using. Uh, 
should be some doggies in cages around here somewhere. I'll attack that empty cage just in case. Do I want to get it? This is the back way into Yosefka's clinic, and I think you need to go this way if you want to go to Kanehurst. Uh, I might go and get it to keep my options open. I don't know if I'm going to do Kanehurst, it's entirely optional, and I didn't really much care for the Ligarius boss fight. Um, I can't remember where to go. <laughs> uh, but there are a lot of chunks in Kanehurst. Which may be important. Speaking of antidotes. Something just died. I better put that on because I may need antidotes. I'll just run through here. Um... Freaking worms and shit in here that are just pain in the ass. Oh crap, 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 crap. <laughs> Damn it. I almost managed to avoid getting poisoned. And at least the lad is a path. Here's a path. This is what I'm looking for. Quite a long ladder, as I recall. Bodies, I think? Maybe? Looks like there's bodies just been chucked down a pit here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're bodies. Can't really see too clearly at the moment. in here. Still more bodies landing on ledges. I do like... this This is a really good uh, example of level design in a Miyazaki game. The way things just sort of loop back on themselves. Uh, if you're not familiar with this game, this gate right here when it eventually opens um, this is right back to the very beginning of the game There's someone standing there doing nothing uh, you should be able to go there, right in there that's, uh, that's where you start just in that building there so we've gone all the way through central Yarnum there over the bridge there, up to there, right up to the cathedral, if you can see it there, then out through a forest and back up to here. It's quite clever. I do admire the design. Now we're here. Much as I admire it, I very easily get lost. Um, I'm tempted to actually turn the brightness up on this because I can't really see it very clearly at the moment. I seem to recall there's a... yes, I want a U. I really hate these fuckers. They're not pleasant. Uh-oh. Oh, you son of a bitch. I need my insight. For buying chunks. Get up. You can probably hear my clicking there. Go off. Oh, Jesus! The stun locks! Piss off. Oh, he's not getting stunned by him. Seems unfair. You don't get the insight back for killing him either. <laughs> Which is annoying. I hate those things. They are a pain. But I think that's the only one I'm going to come across. 
Um, now, somewhere here, here. Right where that lantern is to show me the way. <laughs> Normally when I'm, well in the previous playthrough I was fighting with blades of mercy when I was coming up against those brain suckers, it's uh, much quicker. And these stupid things. Are you going to drop pebbles or something? <laughs> Get up there. You know what I just noticed? They've got the same death stream as the well, the, the the octopus head Pisakas or whatever they're called from Dark Souls in uh, the Duke's archives. That sort of <laughs> sort of death rattle. Did you like that impression? Would you like me to do it again? I'm not going to. Um, now where, I uh, can't remember where everything is. Um, but I'm almost positive, I'm going to have to put on uh, that, since I don't have the torch equipped. Um, there's a, yes, there's a chest there. A madman's knowledge. I don't think that was a madman's knowledge before. It must have been a rune. Or something that I already have. And this is. I think this is the start where you start the game. No, it's not. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I don't. I'll leave. I'm not going to bother fighting her. The start must be back this way. Somewhere. Um, I really can't remember where you get the other uh, summons from. Oh, yeah, you guys again. Not sure. I think this does our thing when it's transforming. Did that last attack go straight through him? No, oh, yeah, okay. That does that's fine. Um Real Yosefka. There's the Kano summons. Uh look up the law. <laughs> About Yosefka. That's back to the start. I think this is the room where you actually start. You wake up on one of these tables. Uh, anyway, I'm going to run back to to the woods, assuming I can get back. I can remember where I went. Yep, down here. I may end up fast-forwarding this, I'm not sure. I'm sure that uh, by the time you see this, if it's going fast and I'm in chipmunk mode, then uh, yes, I'll be fast-forwarding. Um, probably don't want to fall down that hole. Where is the ladder? There. It's much quicker to go down than it is to go up. But I'm tipping if you fall down there, it's uh, <laughs> death. So, top off there. Cold blood. Uh, up here is this where I get out? I can't remember where I go. 
Yes, this must be the way out. Alright, well that actually wasn't that long, so maybe I won't fast forward. So... Oh shit, you respawn. I guess everything respawns when you load a level, even if you don't actually uh, go through the landing or anything. Um, I, yeah. I think it's the church, one of the church sets up there. I don't need to worry about that. The white church garb. Um, there should be a doggy here somewhere. Hello, doggy. Attack? Press the damn attack button. The other one. There you go. You lose here somewhere. Right. Uh, there's a kidnapper back there who I don't really want to aggro if I can avoid it. Wow, this weapon is just too damn slow for my taste. I'm really not doing well with it. But I'm stuck with it till I die. That's the rules. That was what I came there up here for. Oh, and we can do this. Should give me a tonsil stone. Yep. Right. Once again, that's keeping options open, which I may or may not end up using. That I don't think it's compulsory. Uh, there's another one of those traps up here somewhere. Better if knocked him to the ground or something. Maybe the strong attack does. Um, anyway, I've got to somehow. I can't remember where exactly. Is this the way to go, or is that? No, that's uh, the fall down trap. Going. Uh oh. Nah, that's not getting you prick. I didn't actually realise there was one of them here. Anyway, you gonna drop yes, you're gonna drop bars for me. Good. Right, this is the way I wanna go. And keep running. Not a good idea to stop in here. That's why. There's things everywhere. Oh, cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. Uh, let's make sure he's following me. Twin shards, twin shards. First shortcut, just in case. <laughs> um, that should be somewhere back to the village. Um... I'm just checking how long I've been recording. <laughs> and I think I don't need anything else around here. I just need to not get hit in the face by a cannon and I should be alright. Can... No, I guess if the strong attack doesn't knock them down. This cannon is not... It, it sort of doesn't really... I mean, that's peace week, really. I don't know what it's trying to do. Maybe it's just because, uh, you know, the, character, the hunter character's just not trained to use a cannon, I guess. Which is silly because I've actually got a cannon. 
<laughs> I can equip myself with a cannon if I so desire. I've still got my lantern on, don't I? Yes. I completely forgot I had that. Um, anyway. In here, I don't need to go up. I nope. don't need to go out there, that's just... I think that's the cannon there, that item. But, uh, as I said, I've already got it. You can try and avoid snake men. I don't know if I can avoid this one. No, 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 up behind the stupid tree. Go away. Lose aggro. <laughs> you can sneak up behind them when you come from this way. Anyway, right, this will be the other shortcut. Seen it once or twice where the world sort of doesn't load in. <laughs> Just sort of grey nothingness for a second. Just kind of spooky, but you know, it happens. Right, now that's the early part of this level done. Let me see if I don't remember what that holy crap, that goes very fast. You motherfucker, piss off. You know, it's really... I don't think it's <laughs> worth the effort. My health went down very, very fast. There was regain on it, but... Uh, yeah, no, I don't think so. Um, anyway, as I was saying, uh, that's the first part of the level done. The rest of the level is actually quite long, and it might take me a while to get through. There is a chunk in there somewhere, but I don't remember where. So I might have to call this an episode, otherwise it's going to take 67,000 freaking years to upload the episode. So... Didn't really time that uh, speech very well then, did I? In terms of the cut. Uh, that might have to do me for today. Let me just... Uh, check and see if I can upgrade any... Uh, I can do three. Hmm. I suppose I can do that up to plus. Now I can do two. Well, I'll do the one I've got. And I'll save the others for... Uh, I suppose I can put that up to plus six. Why not? <laughs> repairs and things. I don't know why it gives you the option to go there, your left hand weapon. I don't know if any of them actually ever get damaged. I've never seen any of them damaged. I suppose it's possible the shield might. Uh, let's just make sure it. Ooh, running out of blood vials. Make sure it's full up on everything. Uh, uh, Did I just put that up? Hmm. I'm running out of some things, but yeah, alright, that's fine. Okay, that will probably do me for today, so thank you very much for watching. I won't even go and farm up some blood vials off camera, but uh, I won't bore you with that. Thank you very much for watching, and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.